I'm gonna blow on his back. Accountability is such an interesting concept, and people like to just throw it out nowadays. They, you, don't, you don't really keep track of things like that. It's just a taboo subject to, to be accountable. You know, it's just not super common to see, and very unfortunately. We saw that with the Quantum TV versus Act Man and Mischief, and literally everyone who had an opinion about Quantum TV situation. I don't even know what to call it. It was just Quantum TV situation. Or just, basically, if you don't know, the Quantum TV had this little take on Elden Ring, and despite having numerous meltdowns about numerous things and being completely unhinged, YouTube just let him ride, just let him sit. So Mischief took it upon himself to like, hey, this guy's kind of fucking stupid. This guy's not the, uh, the most intelligent being of all of us. There's just definitely smarter people out there. And uh, he took action and he was like i'm gonna false copyright strike this actual child and then followed up by threats and legal and all this other garbage so Ackman picked up the clip just a small tidbit a couple seconds of quantum tv basically saying that the elden ring was ridiculously stupid it was hard it was unreasonable all these other things and if you've ever played elden ring before you would know uh elden ring is probably one of the most fair souls like games out there there's nothing really like it and it's also in my opinion one of the best yet i would say it's probably the most interesting and not just for the sake of that it's you know easier to get into for most people but it's probably the most uh, visually appealing Enough meat riding of Elden Ring, we're going to be talking about what happened this time. A good old PlayStation fanboy, and I know it's a recurring thing with a few of my videos recently, I've just been talking about console fanboys. In this case, a PlayStation fanboy, which I know is already like a the, you know, the subject that have covered console fanboys over and over again. You know, I, I've done all that, I've done all the garbage, decided that he disagreed with Fratanga, another commentary YouTuber. and. Honestly, I don't really watch Fratanga's content that often. I, I see the occasional video, but I'm not sitting there for like 20, 30 minutes. I have to say though, the amount of quality and effort he puts into his videos, uh, they're, it's a lot of work, dude, you know? So it, naturally hitting Fratanga with a call, false copyright strike is um kind of a fucking dick move. It's like if Drake decided that, you know, the disagreement between him and Kendrick was too far and Drake was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna abuse a copyright system that exists between us because we're artists and uh, false copyright one of his songs because he disagrees with me. But in this case, it's a little bit different because it's more in the copyright abuser's favor to not have to not fuck with this. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. It's literally a clip of some dude on his podcast crashing out at everyone else and then fucking breaking his webcam. Oh. <laughs> so while grabbing a clip for the uh, from the podcast at the risk of being struck by BG himself, um, I went ahead and uh, took it upon myself to look down in the comments that I noticed someone said and pulled a quote, it's not that deep to me, while they're talking about the idea of a PS5 Pro and uh, they're kind of arguing back and forth and he's saying that, hey, I, uh, I, I prefer the highest end stuff, you know, I, I play on PC, I prefer to play on PC and I'm getting a pro model so therefore I like to you know play on pc for some reason that makes sense to him and everyone else is just like dude that just means you like your console to do the, the the top of this top of the line shit and he's like i don't really care that much he's, they're talking about the price he's like the price isn't you know the, the big deal for me and you know they pulled this translation out and he replies translation I can, i'm a consumer and i could buy anything that serves me fuck y'all talking about this shit ain't rocket science but y'all want some deep explanation folks translation you're a very very defensive individual not only in your own podcast but in your own comments he's going him. off ah oh, shit and this isn't uh, like a quantum tv situation directly either it's actually much worse it is much more severe and it is much more legally intensive because not only was quantum tv just fucking stupid and incompetent everything that he managed to pull off this guy decided i'm gonna take it to the extreme and hit up with a copyright strike versus a copyright claim which makes things infinitely more of a pain in the ass for everyone involved because in order to even deal with a situation like this if you want to get that stuff reinstated and you don't want to strike on your channel get motherfucker you gotta dox yourself as a functioning adult i couldn't exactly tell you how one would come to the conclusion that this is the only way out you know i'm not really a grease ball little freak uh, a goblin i don't really have a way to tell you that that this made sense to this man other than that he's just maybe fucking should be living in a home because there's no way that you can convince me someone like this was like the only way out is to get 
this fucking video and this dude's livelihood fucked. Like that's the only way I, I can only see that's the only way out. I can't I can't just ignore this. There's no way I could ignore this. And from what I can tell, for Tanga, for fuck dude, I I I butchered that. I'm sorry. For Tanga, I I, I don't know how to pronounce it truthfully. If for Tanga, he is prepping for a court. Like he is right getting ready for this shit. X Man said the same thing, you know. Which honestly, the way YouTube is, uh, they kind of could just skew it one way or the other. But I think we should just change the status here. We should not like allow this as like a normal thing to go on because these are people's livelihoods we're talking about. And if you don't already know, abusing copyright strike and abusing copyright law, not only is it a crime, it's against fucking YouTube's terms of service, which is why everyone why everyone was so baffled when quantum tv managed to get away with this thing because fucking one it's a crime two it's a fucking it's against the policies and this motherfucker still had a youtube channel we really do live in the bad timeline not only did the talk to a podcast become a thing but this shit with fucking quantum is happening again this shit is happening a second time i thought we learned from this i get i, I guess i'm a foolish to think that we actually learned from this considering quantum got away with that and he even called the act man's mom which fucking i don't know this guy i mean he's he's a playstation fanboy and he dedicates his time to a console makes irrelevant arguments such as if a whack if a damn whack ass days gone remastered is real it's definitely this series s's fault what else could cause such a st such stupid shit to happen what the fuck does that even mean? What is the, what the fuck are you, what? Let me get this straight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and draw out a graph here. We're gonna, we're gonna point out a couple things. So the Xbox Series S, you know, separate from the Xbox Series X, um, you know, it, it, it exists. It's a lower powered system, you know. It's, it's not gonna be for the wealthiest individual. It's on the cheaper end because easy to get into, easy to access. I mean, the list can really go on. It's cheap for a reason. It's, that's the whole point of this console. And a PlayStation game on the PlayStation side, getting a remaster is the fault of the fucking console that it doesn't exist on? What the fuck are we talking about? I think it's also worth mentioning that this man posts nearly fucking hundreds of times a day on Twitter. He is constantly on Twitter all of the fucking time. All of the time. It's, but uh, yeah, in the process, I found out that uh, this man has Sony's videos from from their youtube channels in his videos did he ask permission uh, probably not but considering we're discussing the idea of copyright striking someone for using two heavily edited minutes of a four hour live stream i just don't think the comparison's very fair when we're talking about constant full videos also edited i i should keep that in mind and yet youtube and Sony doesn't come down on this poor individual and just beat the ever-living shit out of him and make him bite the curb because he fucking used a video that wasn't his without his permission. Just like with accountability in today's modern age, for whatever fucking reason, just does goes out the fucking window. We have the, uh, for me and not for the vibe going on. I guess that falls under accountability just a little bit, but it's contextual. So let's describe specifically what I'm talking about here. Uh, I can take, you have to ask. I don't have to ask. And why is that? Blocked. Refusal for elaboration, which is something we've plenty covered on this channel. <laughs> Armin Smith. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to abolish immigration, remove women's rights, and just all around uh, make society a better place. And BG with that whole fucking series as tweet, because what the fuck does that even mean? I still don't get it. And just when he thought things couldn't get even more insanely, unbelievably brain dead, at one point he even tried to pull the race card. Yep, ever Twitter's favorite. Jesus fucking Christ, I really hope this guy doesn't have kids. So basically took this nice little screenshot from T for Tango's the old discord server from i think like seven years ago at this point and you can even check the timestamps. obviously i can't show you the uh the screenshot but it's back to back to back testing of this server moderation and me personally i would have like a bot or uh, now we have like ai and shit uh, you could just make a bot type everything out test the moderation see if it works but bam and i would do that before anyone showed up in the server before someone could take a screenshot or something like that i would solo dolo you know i'm the only one in the server have a bot run through it problem solved but you know shit happens sometimes but tr seriously trying to pull the race card on a picture that has no context super low quality is something that people on twitter love to do anyway but uh 
here it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, someone had the context. Someone could explain to you what the fuck was happening. The only thing I can really do though, and I highly recommend you guys do the rest, don't go to his videos, don't go to his Twitter, don't give him interaction, don't get him in the algorithm, don't get him recommended to a bunch of people's For You pages, or wherever the fuck he posts, don't, don't do any of that. Just let him die out. Just let him die in a fucking pit of irrelevancy while we all talk shit to him elsewhere. Don't let him get anywhere. Just let him fucking die. Do the same thing we did with Quantum. I guess similar because there was a bunch of people to go over there. But just let that motherfucker die in peace. Let him pass. Who you really should be watching though is Harmless Man. <laughs> Anyway, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you for watching all the way through. If you did, like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, subscribe to stick around, share the video with your friends, you know, give me just give me some feedback while you're talking a little bit of shit on the, the, the pussy, the bitch, the 30-something-year-old man who should not be allowed in the rest of society, if you will. Um, yeah, if you want to join the Discord server in the link below, highly recommend it. And if you got any more personal suggestions that you just don't feel that a comment will do it, by the way, comments get me into the algorithm and recommended to more people so I get more feedback, keep you guys in this horrible psychological loop of giving me more feedback to improve. And, you know, you know what to do. Thank you and see ya.